YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Can Bank of America stock get back to $50? So thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. So we can see uh, over the last year everything that's going on with Bank of America, right? So this is going to be uh, an honest and and just upfront observation of this, this bank, right? Now, so when we look at uh, Bank of America's profit, it fell by $3.7 billion uh, due to charges. Uh, interest rates, so Bank of America... Uh, and Deutsche Bank predict interest rate cuts in, in 2024. Now, Bank of America had fees uh, and was ordered to pay $100 million for double dipping on fees and withholding credit card rewards. All right. So that's one negative aspect, along with the $3.7 uh, billion in charges. Now, we look at pandemic aid. Bank of America was fined $225 million for botching pandemic aid. Now, here's something good, uh, potentially, depending on how you look at it. Uh, maybe you may look at it in an inf infl inflatory uh, type of way, but Bank of America increased its minimum wage to $22, and overdraft fees for Bank of America were slashed uh, to $10 from $35. All right. So this is what's happened over the last year. So for the fees. All right. I think that's a good way to, to bring more customers into the space. Uh, and then at twenty two dollars per hour could potentially bring uh, more or better quality workers, potentially. All right. Now, some of the things that worry me and there was an article I read that Bank of America was the big bank's problem child. And, you know, from a from a, a, a certain perspective, I just I, I don't know. OK, so when we look at what they did with the, the pandemic aid and then the double dipping on fees uh, and withholding credit card rewards and we look at, you know, some of the things they've done. And I don't know if it was purposely done, if they had an issue uh, with their software. I, I'm not sure. I don't know what it's all about. Okay. Uh, but if, if the company keeps doing things like that, I find it, uh, pretty hard to think that they would reach $50 per share over the next year or two, uh, simply because a lot of investors would start to look at, at the integrity, even if these negative things that have happened were due to, uh, you know, technology or, you know, maybe their finance department did not have uh, the numbers, uh, you know, tallied the right way or whatever the case may be. There are certain things that that it just can't happen. So going forward uh, from an integral part of, of, of the view, what I have highlighted in blue, this, this stuff has got to stop, okay? Now, overall, like for me, I've, I've been an investor in Bank of America. I, I like the stock. I like the price. Uh, I like the dividend, and we'll talk about that in just a second. Um, I like the fact that they continue to make profits. And in, in, the, in the environment, and with higher interest rates, but it, it, some of these things just can't happen. Like I said, I don't know if it's purposely done. I, I don't know. But this stuff has got, got to stop. Okay. Now, one thing that I was looking at earlier uh, today was the impact of the dividend. Okay. So when we look, man, this thing, this dividend was up to 64 cent per share back in August 2008. And then it just fell off. And then I would assume throughout this period, the company got itself together. That way they'd be able to give you a, a, a dividend. And you can see that dividend has been going up steadily. OK, so hopefully, you know, they've gotten things together. Hopefully we won't have anything happen like we've happened uh, from a, from a, a moral perspective. OK. And then I think we can get to, to $50 per share because it's, it's a good company. It has a good structure in place. 
it's been around a very long time. It's just some things that just that that happened that that shouldn't be happening. Okay, no matter who, whose fault it is. Okay, now one last thing before I let you guys go. Uh, you know, we we have to look at what's going on with the uh the upgrade downgrades this can tell you a lot uh especially from financial institutions okay now jp morgan no surprise there they have them as overweight uh oppenheimer has them as outperforming wolf research uh outperforming uh bmo has them as market perform oppenheimer outperform jeffries has it as just a whole and so yeah, a little bit of a mixed bag, but uh, overall, it looks like most of them have them as outperforming or overweight. So from that perspective, if an institution has you uh, as outperforming or overweight, that makes me think that us getting to $50 per share in a shorter term, at least, uh, is probably not likely. Now, maybe 2026 or 2027, if they continue to make progress from a um, an integrity perspective, then then possibly, okay. So that's what I got for you guys today. Uh, as of right now, I just don't see it in a shorter term. I think that it's not even really about the financial numbers right now. I think it's about what's been going on uh, with the company from a integrity perspective, okay. So once they get that together uh, over the next few years, I think fifty dollars would be a walk in the park. And this coming, this is coming from somebody that likes the stock. Okay, so I appreciate you guys. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe, and we're out, guys. Peace.